Hey guys and welcome back for a new video. If you are new here then welcome to my channel and this video is going to be a home updates vlog. I am interior crazy as you all know and we moved house in when was it 2020 actually just over a year ago and ever since we've been renovating the whole house so this video there's actually quite a lot going on so we're doing lots to the living room in this video and then I'm also going to talk you through the selections for the bathroom so that is being done literally in two weeks time now and I made all the selections and finalized that so I'll talk you through what the plans are for that and then I think there's also some bits and pieces upstairs that I want to share with you as well so if this is the sort of content you like watching make sure to subscribe if you're new around here because I do really regular home videos and like interior hauls and things like that so anyway I'm going to take you upstairs now and share with you a few little bits and pieces I've just been buying recently and then I can take it back because I've been filming this video actually for the last probably a month or so so basically I'm going to show you some recent things and then we can roll it back and then yeah, hopefully that makes sense. So I wanted to share with you my new lampshade. So I got these for the guest bedroom and I got these on Very. So they're a white lampshade at the top and the base of them is this ceramic. And I actually thought this was gonna be gold from the pictures, but it's not. Um, and then you've got this silvery color here. But yeah, this is almost like a, it's like a greeny gray sort of brassy color. It's hard to explain, but it's like a few colors mixed together. And then the top is white. I haven't actually unpackaged it yet. Yeah, I think this is gonna work really, really nicely for the guest bedroom on top of these units. I won't share any more just because I want to do this in a different video but I thought I'd just quickly share these with you because I think they're really pretty and I was trying to go for like a hotel sort of vibe and I feel like these do obviously that will be higher up. I think they look really really nice and I do highly recommend them. If you just want something a little bit different, I think they're quite classy and really pretty. Then I also wanted to share with you these beautiful lampshades. So I've got two of these for my filming room. And I actually bought these originally for the guest bedroom thinking they were small, but they're absolutely huge. So the base is this stunning, really light gold. It's all crackled and it's actually glass. And then the top is this really pretty natural tone and it's got all textures in there as well. These are from the range. They were £40 each, which honestly, guys, for how big these are and how amazing quality they are, I am blown away. They're honestly something that you could probably pay £100 for elsewhere. So I highly, highly recommend. I think they look like a boutique hotel sort of vibe. I've put one either side of my um, sofa. But again, I haven't like unpackaged that one yet. And I'm yet to put a light bulb in there. But I just wanted to quickly share them with you just because I don't know how long they'll be in stock for. And I highly, highly recommend you pick them up because they're so gorgeous but I will style them up um, in my next video like you know kind of finish this room off I might put some prints in this room because it just isn't quite done yet so guys something else I really wanted to share with you before we get on into the bathroom updates is actually my new Robo vac so I have wanted one of these the longest time and me and Jordan have always spoken about buying one just because it's so hard to keep your house clean. I work from home now and yeah it's just like being around the house constantly there's so much dust there's excess mess I obviously do two jobs as you guys know so my time is very very limited and I have a little fur baby which she's over there but you can't see her <laughs> but um yeah it just makes the house quite difficult to keep on top of and if you aren't familiar with what a robovac is it's basically a vacuum that goes around the house and it just does all the hoovering for you so you don't have to do anything yourself and I'm actually partnering with Yuffie on this video to share with you their new robovac G20 I think it's called so yeah this is something we're both really excited about because it was literally in our Amazon basket and then Yuffie reached out to me and I was like oh my god this literally couldn't have come at a better time. So I wanna share with you the app that I have on my phone and basically you can connect your vacuum. So let me just share with you what the app looks like. So it's like this and you look, suction, clean, recharge, spot, schedules. So we have scheduled every single day for the Robovac to come on at eight o'clock. So that just makes our life so much easier because every single morning before I start work, the vacuum will just literally whiz around the downstairs of the house, completely clean everything for me. And then I can come downstairs to a clean house because yeah, having a dog, there's constantly hair being shared and things like that. So it makes my life really, really convenient. Something else guys, which I think is just crazy with how far technology has come is that it literally takes itself home. So it has a charging port and yeah, it literally takes itself home and comes out of its own charging port each day. So it literally whizzes around the house and then it'll go back into its charging port, charge itself again for the following day. So it's so clever. And where the charging port is actually behind a sofa of ours. So it literally scoots itself underneath the sofa. Like, you know how dirty underneath the sofa can get? 
um i dread to look under mine to be honest because it's always just awful like again having a dog she constantly chucks stuff under there she'll rip toys apart and there'll be bits and pieces all under the sofa so the fact that it can get under the sofa means we haven't got to move the sofa to hoover in that area so it honestly makes my life so much easier guys and yeah, it's almost like having a cleaner in your house because it's doing the work for you. It whizzes around and it knows when to stop and when to turn around and then it will kind of, if it goes into an object, it will spin itself around and then go off in a different direction to make sure that the whole floor has been cleaned. So yeah, I highly recommend it. If you're someone that works from home or you've got a really busy schedule, um, maybe you're a new mum because it's so, so quiet as well. So instead of having a big old heavy hoover out, making a racket, this is so quiet and gentle. So I feel like a baby could sleep through it, that sort of thing as well. I think it's really, really great. So I'll leave all the information in the description box down below if you're looking to check it out if you have any questions just put them in the comments down below and i'll try and help you as much as i can but yeah it's super super easy to control literally from the app on your phone and i absolutely love it it's a staple now in my household cleaning routine and it saves me so much time so yeah that is great guys um i'm now actually going to talk you through the bathroom selections which i'm super excited about so let me just scroll back. I don't know who I am. I keep saying super. I feel like that's quite an American word to say. For the bathroom tiles, I was umming and ahhing for quite a long time about what colour to go for. And we have actually chosen the colour. So I'm going to give you a little background. So you will see we went into the shop and there was quite a few different tile options to pick from. So I'll pop them on the screen now. So you can just have a look at the different designs that I found. But a lot of them were quite dark tones. A lot of them had quite strong marble bits going through it again I can't I'm not very good at explain things but it was just a little bit too in your face and a bit too much so I thought actually I want something a little bit softer so we kind of looked around a couple of different um, tile shops until we could find the perfect tile for us and we actually went to a place called Al Murad Tiles I'm not sure I mean it says stores nationwide actually on there so yeah I'm assuming they are a nationwide place I hadn't heard of them before but they had the perfect tile called Victoria so you can see this tile is really really soft it's got a nice like grey but it's not too cool grey it's like a warmer grey tone running through it but it's not too heavy like the other ones it's softer and we actually went for gloss as well which I wasn't expecting I thought we were going to go for matte tiles but seeing it in person I just much preferred the shiny tile I think it just looks really really luxury and I feel like it gives that hotel sort of vibe and and we actually went for the 60 by 60 size as well. Again, wasn't planning on that. Was going to go for smaller tiles. But when I saw them in person, I thought I want the least grout lines possible. So the bigger the tile, the better. So that is our tile selection. And then on to just bits and pieces for the actual bathroom. I don't know how interested you guys are going to be in this, but I will show you anyway. So the sink unit we've got from a place called Drench. And it's called the Harbour Form 800 centimetre mounted vanity unit in French grey. So this is the one we've gone for. So I really, really like it. The drawers are them touch ones where you just push them and the drawer opens itself. And I really like the size. I love the fact that it's a hanging sink. And I feel like that gray will go really, really nicely with the gray in the tile as well. For the toilet, we've gone for this one. Just like a really modern toilet. <laughs> it would just have like a push button on the wall. What else did I share with you? Oh, this I'm very excited about. So we've gone for the one of these mirrors. So you know the big circular mirrors that has the LED light that goes around it? But it's actually Bluetooth, guys. I didn't even know this sort of thing existed, but it Bluetooths to your phone and it then connects as a speaker. So it's actually a speaker and a mirror and it heats itself up to stop it steaming up. So I can't believe that. That's probably one of the things I'm most excited about just because I think it's so just a bit bougie, isn't it, really? And then for the towel rail, I was originally going to go for one of these dark grey ones, but actually, I decided against it in the end. So I've actually gone for this towel rail, but in chrome, just because all the fixtures are chrome. So we thought, let's go for something, you know, that actually is going to match, because this could be a bit of a risk. So yeah, it's, it is hard, guys, when you're planning your bathroom. It is hard, because... I haven't been to a showroom or, um, you know, had a designer help me out with it. A lot of the time you can get 3D designs done for you, but I haven't had that. So I've literally had to pick everything out and hope that it's going to work. And even now I'm not confident. Like, I, I, well, I, I feel okay about my selections, but you never know what it's going to look like when the bathroom's actually done. So I am a little bit nervous, but I feel like hopefully it'll all come together because everything we've gone for is fairly neutral. And then for the taps, we've gone for this style of tap. So it's like a waterfall sort of style of tap. And we've gone for everything that's quite square as well. So that meant that with the um, shower, the glass shower thing that goes along bath, we've gone for a square one because I was kind of asking the guy, like, how do you know what to pair with each other? And he said, 
pick a certain style of something and then try and mimic that in everything you buy. So if you're going for quite a square tap, try and go for a square unit because some of the vanity units under the sink are curved. But he said, if you're going for curved, go for curved everything. If you're going for square, try and go for square everything and it'll just make it blend better and look like it fits the room. So that is what I've done, taking his advice. Um, but yeah, that is everything about the bathroom to share with you. I will be vlogging everything when it's being done. So I'm literally gonna vlog it all being ripped out, all the progress that he makes, and then obviously do a bathroom reveal as well. So that will be coming soon. It's being done in two weeks time. He said it's gonna take two weeks. So look out for that probably the beginning of April sort of time for that I reckon. So yeah, very, very, very much looking forward to that guys. But yeah, now we're gonna roll it back about a week ago and I'm gonna share with you some things that have been going on in the living room. So guys, probably not the best time to show you these curtains, but if you are regulars around here, then you'll know what these ones look like already. But basically these curtains were bought quite in a rush just because this is quite a big space to cover. And I was really struggling online to find curtains that fit the space. So I got these ones from Matalan about a year ago now, and there's nothing wrong with them as such, but probably hard to show in this light because it's literally about 9 p.m at night but they're really really bobbly and in the daylight this really does show up so yeah in the daylight they're so so bobbly the light comes through them and they just don't look great just because they're not black out at night time like i say you can't really tell but in the daylight they just don't look great even when they're drawn you can kind of just see they're quite thin and just makes them look a bit rubbish. So I've wanted to change these up for quite a while now. Um, when we first moved into this house, I got cushions for the sofa that matched these. So it kind of brought them together in the room, but they all went bobbly as well. So they had to go and there was no saving them with like a bobble remover or anything like that. They were just, they went really horrible really quickly. So I've wanted to get rid of these for some time now. And also where they're the, what are these ones called? Like the eye you know, the circle things at the top. I've really wanted ones that kind of hide the curtain pole as well. So I've got some new ones from Ikea, which I'll share with you in a second. I did want to go for some cream curtains just because I'm going for like more of a creamy vibe in this living room. Despite having a silver sofa, I really want to bring in some more creams and beige tones, but they were the only ones in Ikea that were remotely close to beige that were blackout and were the length and everything I needed. So I'll go and show you them now. Okay, so these are the new curtains that I've gone for. So they're called the Mag Gold. Mag Madge goal curtains from Ikea and I got these ones in um do they say the colour I know that they're they are called something grey um it doesn't seem to say on here but they are one of the grey ones but basically in the shop they had two varieties I hope you can see in this light they are more because obviously this is more like a silvery grey they are more of a beigey grey so I'm happy with the colour like I say I would have preferred a little bit more creamy but this was the only colour they did in Ikea in this sort of design. And my friend has these and I know they look really, really nice when they're up. As you can see from the diagram, they cover the curtain pole, which I think is going to look really nice. I think these are going to be too long for the living room, uh, but that's okay. We can always move the curtain pole up the wall a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to try and attempt to do this now. It does say on here, actually, they're not completely blackout, but I've seen them in action and I think they look really good. So yeah, the thing about this actually as well, guys, is so you get two in here. And basically the length this way is the same length as that wall. But when you put curtains up, you're meant to basically have, I think it's double the length of the curtain to give a bit of a wave. So you can see it's got a bit of a wave at the minute, but I wanted more of a wave. So I'm actually gonna be putting two curtains each side. So two here and two here. And again, it sounds a bit crazy and a bit DIY, but my friend's done it. And when you pull them shut, you honestly cannot tell the difference. So that's what we're gonna do. So my little dog is sleeping over there. I'm gonna pop you here and see if I can take down the curtain basically without any supervision. Okay guys, so that is one, well, two curtains on, like I say, there's actually two on here, but technically just one side. There's literally just these hoops on the back. So super, super simple to put that on. So that's curtain number one done. I'm gonna pop the other one on now and then we can pop it up and see what it looks like. Oh. 
Okay guys, so here are the new curtains. Obviously I've just chucked them up, like not much thought has gone into it. It's quite late and I'm getting tired, but I'm much happy with the color and the fact they're just, you know, there's no pattern going on. I think the color's really nice. It is gray, but it's not like gray, gray. It's a warm gray tone. Obviously they're too long. So you can see they're literally draping on the floor. I don't mind curtains draping on the floor, but I do think this is too long. So even if the curtain pole was bought higher, because I do love the look of a curtain pole right by the ceiling, but obviously where we've got the COVID that can't happen, but it could be bought up a few more inches, but even then it's going to be draped on the floor. So it's a bit of a problem. So they're probably going to have to be taken in up whatever they also need to drop as well so i'm gonna give them a few days to drop and if they don't i can get my air out not my air <laughs> my steamer out and steam out all them um lines i feel like even though there's two curtains per side i mean i have done it a quick job but i think if you properly kind of made these look nice you wouldn't be able to see at all so overall for a cheap ish solution because these were 39 pounds a packet of two so that's only 78 pounds for these curtains i don't think it's bad it's such a big space and everywhere else i find typically for good quality thick heavy duty curtains you're looking at about 200 pounds for this sort of size so you know yes it might not be our forever curtains but definitely a temporary measure for the foreseeable until we find um either like our dream curtains or you know decide to invest into some bespoke ones or something like that i think these are going to work really well but yeah they just need a little bit of tlc just to kind of sort them out and make them fit the room because yeah they're definitely draping a bit too much on the floor but let me know what you think do you prefer the curtains before do you prefer the curtains now the colour is really nice. It's a nice subtle colour. And I also really like the fact that the curtain pole is not visible anymore. Um, I think that looks really nice. And something I have bu big bugbear about this, it's so minor, but I really don't like these that hold the curtains up. So they were actually here when we moved in. They had quite an old fashioned curtain pole and we spray painted them silver to match our curtain pole. But in hindsight, I'd probably just rather our small curtain pole holders up because obviously that stops the curtains closing and that so yeah I think if we can dig them out and find them I'd much rather ditch them and put the smaller curtain holders up basically just to avoid these big old blocky you know bits of wood as you can see it's annoying because they're really good quality um and they're obviously heavy duty but it does create this big gap in the middle. Hey guys so excuse the state of my hair I've literally just shoved it up and chucked a little bit of makeup on but we've got two really exciting deliveries to share with you. So the first one is the coffee table. So I ordered it from Wayfair. I can't remember what it was called, but all I typed in was champagne round nest of tables or something like that into Google and it comes up. Um, whenever I type something like that in, it comes up. So it should be super easy to find, but I only ordered it about a week ago and it had a two week delivery and it's turned off already, which is really exciting. So I'm gonna take you downstairs and unbox that with you and show you me putting it up. At the minute we've got a, um, like a footstool there, which is nice and it was really cozy, but I feel like it just kind of clutters up the living room. So I'm really looking forward to removing that, maybe popping it somewhere else in the house and having a coffee table finally.
So now the coffee table is all put up, I also have another delivery to share with you. So the next one is a sideboard. And we ordered this from, I think it's called the Nine Schools. It's the number nine, but spelled as nine, like N-I-N-E, <laughs> um, schools. And basically it's called the Oyster Sideboard. They do this in quite a lot of different places. So Dunelm have another version of it, which I did order and it arrived completely damaged. So I would just say, if you're gonna buy this, invest into the proper one, which is the one that I've gone for. It is a little bit more expensive. So on Dunelm, I think it's about 300. And the one we bought, I think was about 600. So it is a bit more expensive, but it is solid wood. So it's gonna last a really long time. And when you see it, hopefully you love it as much as I do praying that it's not damaged because honestly the amount of furniture I order that is broken is a joke so yeah I'm really hoping it's not damaged um but it's just the perfect color for the living room because it's a really nice like kind of matches the wall color it's like a grayy warm pinky color it's really really nice and it's got the champagne on it as well and this piece is actually what made me realize I want to add pops of champagne into the living room because I love gold but gold can be a little bit bright and in your face whereas champagne is like subtle kind of it's like a dulled down gold, isn't it? So that is kind of like the inspo we've got now for the living room. So anyway, let's go downstairs now and unbox it. Oh my God, guys, I am so happy with the unit, honestly. I know you would have seen us put it in the room, but how gorgeous is this, honestly? It was worth the wait. I think I waited about a month for this to arrive. I feel like my camera's really bright today, actually, but it's just the perfect color, wow. It looks like the same as the balls, but it's actually not. It's like a little bit, if you can see up close. Again, the camera's a lot brighter than it is today, but. The walls are a little bit lighter. This is just a little bit more taupey. It is just stunning. The finish is beautiful. It's just a slightly little bit shiny. The, the gorgeous um, champagne color is just perfect. The size of it's perfect. I just love it so, so much. So this is like a Chinesey Oriental inspired design. Um, I've kind of seen it online. And I love it. It's just something a little bit different. So to open the doors, you have to pull this like this, and then you open it like this. It's very bright inside. Um, but that's all right. You know, you don't see that, do you? Um, and it's, you see it's solid wood. It's really well made. You just close it like that. And then you slot that back. Oops, we're out of focus. Slot that back in. There we go. So that is it. Very, very pleased with this. Highly recommend it. Amazing quality. The only thing which is a little bit like, mm, is again, had this on my last one from Dunelm. The drawer seems a, bit, a little bit out of line, but Jordan said he might be able to sort that out. So I'm not going to hate on it over that slight little thing. But it's just, it's really, really nice. I'm really pleased with it. We also moved the chair over here. We're not sure whether to keep the footstool in here or not. We might take that upstairs and put it somewhere else. Just because we feel like it's a little bit cluttered. But let me just show you the current room. So this is what it's looking like now. So I think it's a lot nicer with that chair moved from that corner to there. I think it just looks a bit cosier. Um, but our next steps are to get a new rug because this rug, wow, it's so overexposed guys. What is going on? You can't even see the coffee table. It's never normally like this, it's normally the opposite. Let me try and play around with it. There we go, good old intelligent auto, it's brought us back. Um, but yeah, I really wanna change this rug just because one, it's too small. So I've kind of been looking into interior tips and you should definitely have a rug that's the same length as a sofa or a lot closer. Excuse the state of the sofa, but also someone um, commented that on my last video actually, but the, it's, the rug is very small in comparison to the sofa. And two, where it's one of them rugs, you know, it's like, there's a lot of different lengths and stuff. Because we've got Lola, a lot of dirt gets trapped in here, the, you know, from our dog. So it's just, it's very hard to keep clean. So I wanna get rid of that. I wanna get a short pile rug and I want it to be bigger and I don't want white anymore. So I have found the one I want. I'm not gonna give too much away just because I wanna wait until it's here, but it's almost like a cloud sort of design. So you'll have to wait and see. But I think it's gonna tie the room together quite nicely. And also, 
these curtains from earlier on in the vlog these will be taken up so we're gonna get them taken up just they're like just touching the floor but not like hanging like that and then i need to paint for the walls as well so i'm gonna make some prints so yeah these are the prints that i made which i showed in a recent vlog actually i don't know if you guys have seen that or not but i painted these myself but they're quite small so i want to paint some bigger versions which can go in the living room i was kind of just like playing around i made three small ones which will probably go in my office um, but I've got this as well, which I made. So I potentially could pop that in the living room. Let's actually, obviously I'm not gonna leave it like this, but I might just pop it just on this unit, just for now to see what it looks like. But yeah, I wanna get creative and do some artwork that can go in our living room, just because I think it's quite personal and it just, I like it. Um, so let's see what that looks like. I don't know if it will look any good. I mean, I won't leave it like that, but it's not terrible, is it? Maybe we'll pop it behind this side. I need to style this up and also style up the coffee table. I kind of just chuck some bits on there for now, but I definitely want to, you know, properly style it. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to leave that there. But for now, you know, until I've done my other prints, it kind of adds a little bit of texture and a little bit of, I don't want to say colour, because there's not really that much colour going on, but I think it works quite well for the room. I'll probably actually film myself painting in my next home updates, just because I did get quite a lot of DMs on Instagram asking me how I did the paintings. Not that I think I'm some artist or anything, but obviously it's so much cheaper doing it yourself than um, buying them online because they're pretty expensive online. So yeah, I might include that in my next home updates vlog. So definitely stay tuned for that if you want to see how I got creative and made my paints. My paints? My canvases. <laughs> so guys, a few days have passed and I feel like the lounge is really coming together and I have had the best delivery today. So I ordered some cushion covers from Perfect Cushions UK. Um, and they're really, really affordable prices. Well, I say affordable, they're still expensive, but for what they are, because when I was looking for cushions like the ones I'm about to share with you, they were like 40 pounds online. So I think I paid something like 18 pounds a cover, which I know is still a lot, um, but obviously they're handmade, they're high quality material and all of that. So for what they are, they're affordable, but obviously they're expensive for cushion covers. Like I can't believe I've spent that much, but I just wanted to invest into the living room and get some really luxurious pieces. So I went for this design first off. You can see it's almost like a crackled effect. It's silvery. Now the reason why I got this is because as you can see, our sofa is silver and I'm really trying to make the room more creamy beigey. So I thought if I have this one on there, that kind of lifts the color a little bit. And then I went for this cushion which is like a champagne. I absolutely love it. It's probably very hard to see on camera actually what that really looks like. But basically that layered with that looks really pretty and it kind of then lifts the sofa. It makes the sofa look a lot brighter. So I got four of each um, cushion cover and I'm gonna pop them all together now. I just need to get the cushion stuffings, which I bought from Ikea. They were five pound each for these duck feather inserts. So I'm gonna do that now and then we can watch the sofa transform because I just, not a big fan of the sofa at the minute, so I need to like plump up all the cushions, make it look nice again, and then pop all these babies on there. So guys here are the cushions i'm really really happy with them they definitely have just done exactly what i wanted just to lift the space and just make it brighter so yeah i feel like they look really nice together they're really soft there's not too much color going on i love the textures i think the textures work really well together too and the paintings that i'm going to be doing for the walls are kind of similar to this so i feel like this is going to blend really nicely as well with the paintings and yeah i'm just so happy with them guys and then i also popped two on this 
seat over here as well. And again, I think that just looks really nice and lifts the space nicely. And then, oh yeah, I don't think I've shown you this little setup. So yeah, I played around with it the other day and then this is what it's looking like at the minute. So I love this unit, it's so, so nice guys. And I've just popped these flowers, which are from HomeSense. This vase is also home sense and the Good Vibes Good Life book because I feel like it just ties in nicely. This painting I did myself. The White Company Autumn Candle and then just a little lid from Asda. This vase is from H&M. So yeah, happy with that space. I think it looks really cute. So guys, that is the end of this video. I feel like there's been a lot of things kind of left and I need to finalize them, but that is what we're gonna probably do in the next video because yeah, in the living room, I think it's really coming together now, but I still need to get a new rug. I need to do the new wall arts. So I'm gonna paint them probably in my next vlog as well. Um, maybe get a few decorative pieces, things like that. I just really wanna finish this room and make it perfect. And then obviously the bedroom upstairs needs to be put together properly. So I might actually do that as a separate video, like a bedroom transformation, something like that. I just need to, pick out a few extra bits for it and just decide what to do with that room. And then obviously the dining room, which I feel like I keep speaking about and it doesn't get done. But I've said to Jordan, we need to get the dining room done. Like it needs painting. I have been asking him now for about three months to paint that damn room. So <laughs> I said to him, if he doesn't paint it in the next few weeks, I'm just gonna have to get a painter in because I want to get on with that room. So hopefully that'll give him the kick up the backside to get it done. To be honest with you, I don't even mind painting it. I'm looking this way because it's literally there. I don't mind painting it, but it's just a lot and I need a bit of assistance because I'm not the best at cutting in, especially when it's color. I feel like I'm just a bit messy. I don't mind painting and doing like the skirting and stuff, but yeah, I do find cutting in at the top quite difficult. So um, yeah, but I don't know. Anyway, that will be another video or in a vlog. So we've actually got quite a lot of updates to share with you again, because I feel like I went quite quiet with the house updates for a while, but there's literally so much on again. And we also might be getting the downstairs loo done actually as well um, this summer. So yeah, not something I planned to do, but I just kind of thought, actually, I really want it done. I've never been happy with it, and why the hell not? So, yeah, we might get that done this summer as well. So if we do, obviously, I'll share with you the whole process. And I want to go for something completely different in there. I've got all the ideas up in here, but it's nothing like the other rooms in the house. So anyway, well, I say that, it is, but it's just not. It's not the same as the upstairs bathroom, basically. But yeah, I'm so excited, guys. You can see it all over my face. I love interior and I love like watching the house transform and just how different it can look over time. So I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, give the video a thumbs up and check out Eufy as well. Like I say, thank you to Eufy for sponsoring the video, by the way. Um, it's always a pleasure working with them because I worked with them before on a Hoover and I really liked that. But now this new product has entered my life. I have to admit, the Hoover will be taking a back seat and the Robovac can just do all the work for me. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.